guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I am the worm, this is the proton. Uh, today we're going to be carrying on with our e liquid uh, kind of show and tell. Um, we did receive these free of charge, they will not change our view on the liquid, but they will be an honest and true view as always, and they were from vaporous.com.my. Indeed. Um, today we are going to do a cranberry bubblegum. Um, e liquid review 12 milligram strength 70 PGVG uh, from the DIY premix range, like Worms said, from vapors.com. Uh, my Worms primed the zoo, she's running that on November, around a 2 ohm coil. Um, yeah, just giving it a prime view pass and see how we go. Initials, it's good. Is it, is it good? Is it oh. after our last bubblegum fiasco with the orange bubblegum? Um, we kind of picked this one out of the bag and was a bit like, oh yeah, um, it could be good, it could be bad, so this is what bad juice in a batch does to you. Off the initial bat, not overly bubblegummy, but definitely cranberry in there, definitely cranberry. I'm getting that cranberry, if you've ever drunk uh, pure cranberry juice or even cranberries, you get kind of like this um, weird bitter taste. I know it's bitter, but like, it's a weird bitter. If you've ever tried cranberry juice, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the, the bubble gun is very um, subtle in this juice. I mean, I quite like it because I like cranberry juice quite a lot. I've actually got some up on my windowsill over there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, immense cranberry flavour. Um, initials for me, or first impression, however you want to word it. Um, the thing that strikes me more than anything else is the throat of this one. It's, uh, it's, it's only about 6 or 7 out of 10, but it's still quite throat hitty um, compared to the other ones that we've done. But as Worm said, that's definitely a cranberry flavour in there. It is very, very, very cranberry-like. Um, does taste <laughs> incredibly like cranberries, in fact. But you have got the sweetness of the bubblegum, and you can taste the bubblegum off the back of it. Yes. It's not a predominant bubblegum with a bit of cranberry. It's more like cranberry with a little bit of bubblegum. Um, given the choice, that's the way I'd want it. I do like cranberries quite a bit, especially love the cranberry juice. I can drink it by the gallon. Um, so yeah, that's the definitely like cranberry bitter, it's, isn't it? That it's, weird bitter. It's got the on the tongue mm. bitter uh, that cranberries give you, which is actually a really, really good thing for me because I do enjoy that. Uh, I know I'm weird, um, but that's um, yeah, it's not so much bubble gum. Definitely a throat hit off this one, though, guys. This is definitely a flavour throat hit. Even on 12 milligram, it's going to be quite a nice throat hit for you. So if you're using it at the high milligram strength, you're definitely going to get a throat hit off of this. Indeed. So um, bear that in mind as well when you do all your liquid. Um, if you do order, we're not saying order it, <laughs> but uh, if you do order from them, just bear in mind you may want to knock down a nicotine strength or two. Even that, or just be prepared to have a little bit of a throat hit. Yeah. It is. Well, if you do like the throat hit, stick with it. If you Bam. enjoy, if you enjoy quite a throat hitty liquid, this is definitely one for you. Um, the cranberryness is lovely. It has got a slight sweet bubblegum back tone, um, and it's got plenty of throat hit. It's definitely got plenty of throat hit. I'd don't believe this is, would be an all day vape, but this would definitely be a, like a good four or five hour continuous vape for me. I don't think I could do it all day because it would get very overpowering very quickly. But a four or five hour vape, quite nice. So yeah, maybe end up, ending off a day, that would be beautiful after dinner, I think. Clean off that palette, mm, very nice. Um, yeah. For me, um, I don't think I could do it anywhere near four or five hours in a day. For me, it would be perfect for something like after dinner when you need something a little bit harsher, or I do anyway. Um, it's not something I, I could do in the morning. It's too strong throat hit for me. For that, I wake up in the morning and I just grab me about much, go for it. and I've, I've nearly killed myself more than once doing that with a liquid that I forgot I'd put in there, uh, especially after I was drinking. Um, <laughs> and I had a 36 milligram nicotine uh, strength uh, vanilla in there, and I, I, I nearly turn over and died um but i could definitely I, I, this is an enjoyable liquid um for, for me it's at right time kind of basis not an all day vape it's purely because of the throat hit but the flavor is very very good personally for me this is a this is a 9.5 liquid this is really really nice i do like cranberry juice like i said and this is hitting the spot the same way cranberry juice does on your tongue uh, there is a slight undertone of bubble gum for there for you, but that just swings it up and makes it just a little bit more pleasurable to me. Um, in terms of what it's meant to be, 10. It is cranberry bubble gum, the way I would expect it to be and the way I would want it to be. Um, for me, it's a 7.5. It's not, it's not as um, palatable as some of the other ones have been 
it is basically down to the throat hit. I'm not a big fan of a massive throat hit. This definitely delivers a, a more than average throat hit for a 12 milligram shrimp, I'd say. Um, in terms of what it's supposed to taste like, it does taste like cranberries. It does taste a little bit like bubble gum. I'm going to give it an eight and a half purely because I'd like to see a little bit more bubble gum in there. Um, I think it's very close to almost a sweetened cranberry juice as opposed to a cranberry bubble gum, if that makes sense. It's definitely a bubble gum flavor. I don't mistake that. It's just not as much bubble gum as I'd like to have in this juice. But again, like we said, if you've got some bubble gum, drop some more in. Drop some in, then you can customize it and make it a bit of your own. Which I'm sure you probably will do. Uh, Give it a go. I probably will end up doing that in a bit, yeah. So I'll see how that goes, because I'm certainly not going to throw it down a bit and knock the bubble gum flavor up, which would probably be spot on for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually quite a nice e liquid. It's just not something I could do all the time, but as of now, I'm quite happy vaping this. There you go. Um, Aussies from vaporous.com.my. We can read down there. We didn't tell you how much it was. It's 15 Probably because it's the same as all the others. Rangate. Rangate. It's, it's actually spelt ring it, but we're not in Malaysia and I believe they pronounce it Rangate. Um, so 50 Malaysian Rangate, which is like £3.25 ish um, and about four and a half dollars depending on exchange rates and whatever else is happening at the time but um, that's the kind of rough price but we have seen I mean we were looking at liquids today and we have seen liquids for up to five six pounds for 10 mil um, and if I was paying that um, I'd be expecting um, very very true to description flavors and barring two of these uh, so far these DIY brand premixes They've all been very true to the flavour. So having tried these, I probably would just pay a little bit more postage and, and buy what I knew tasted like it was supposed to. Yeah. So it's something food for thought, guys. Maybe it's something you should mull over and think about when you're deciding where you're gonna buy. Oh, so it's your from. money, put it where you put want. Put it wherever you want to buy, I couldn't care less. <laughs> but these are good liquids, so we will say. I think this is quite a quick one, actually. Yeah, we're going to drop our Facebook and information that down there. I'm still going to say it. If you want to follow us on Twitter, it's <laughs> at Worm with lowercase, Big N, Proton, lowercase. Uh, and Facebook is Worm, symbol and Proton, chasing the perfect vape. There you That's go, guys. Us. If you want to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and see what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Isn't much. We sit here and make videos for you guys. Well, <laughs> he says that, but uh, there's lots of random things. Yeah. Um, yes, there is. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this review has been reviewed DIY Crabby Bubblegum. Um, I have been Mr. Proton. This has been The Worm, and we will catch you again soon, guys. See you soon, guys.